Welcome guys to another episode of Boom Arena. Today we are gonna be pushing the exact 5k medals in Boom Arena using the always loved and ever known 2.6 Super Ape Cycle. This deck can be loved, can be hated, it's certainly easy to play, but sometimes it takes a skill to win a game with it. Without further ado, I think everyone is familiar with these 8 cards, so we're gonna just jump straight into gameplay. And we are in the game number one against some Russian guy, throw nice play for a good measure and we can officially begin playing. He's gonna be playing Fon Hut first play which is mm, to say the least very passive but uh, he's gonna choose this way of playing so we're gonna go uh, for the offense and the Super Ape already will connect to a tower, scoring two good hits and out-damaging his uh, missile that he has thrown at us. So it looks like our uh, Russian opponent will be trying to outcycle us with some spells. We're gonna see if he's gonna succeed. I hope not, because it would not make for an entertaining video. But right now we're gonna just go and try to breakthrough again. Unfortunately we won't get a break this time because I mistimed my rolling steel, but it's fine. But it's fine. Right now he doesn't have a... Uh, he doesn't have a... Uh, uh, hut in rotation, so we are gonna just set up a fake push. We're gonna actually kill that gunner. I think that's a good moment to attack with Super Ape plus skeletons. He's gonna try to cycle to some defensive cards and unfortunately for him it's not gonna be the case this time. I'm gonna use a rolling steel to uh, damage some of these troops, play some explorer to kite the swordman and I actually don't know if I want to take the damage from this explorer so I'm gonna actually defend it with gunner and right now we are kind of down on mana but we are up to 1000 damage so it's a very good position for us to just stall and do nothing and once our opponent plays something we will be able to respond perfectly so now right now he's gonna be playing a fawn hut and we're gonna respond to, to that by playing very aggressive super ape getting one hit <laughs> I was hoping for the second one, but we won't score that one, and we're gonna be kiting the swordman once again. This time I'm gonna be playing Rolling Steel and Ice Tiny on defense, which means I'm not gonna be able to break through a Fawn Hut, so I'm gonna just cycle a Flying Bomb on that for some damage, and as ex I was uh, about to say, as expected, uh, Super Ape won't get a hit on the tower, but it did, so that's always a nice surprise. And yeah, we're gonna tra trade uh, at the bridge. Obviously at this point of the game any trade is good for us because he pretty much cannot catch up to our uh, cycle and we're gonna just finish the game with some uh, quick 1-2 flying bomb. Good game, well played. That's gonna be how to beat spell cyclists, just play very aggressive and punish every of their mistakes. Let's jump to the game number two. And we are in the game number two against Busin Billy 69. So we're gonna throw a super ape at the beginning to see what's upcoming for us. He's gonna throw a ice tiny and cannon. So my guess is he's playing 2.6 super ape as well. And this is a good moment to throw a some mirror matchup, except we won't because he plays archers. So okay, it's not gonna be. Uh, 2.6 is gonna be a machine gun and with my machine gun you usually want to play very similarly like to 2.6 with the exception that yeah <laughs> uh, you want to be more concer concerned of how you play super apes and we're gonna actually win this game because he quit after first play I mean fair enough because he absolutely missed this cannon I think we can just claim this game it was very short but we're gonna take some uh, dap right here let's jump to the game number three and we are in the game number three our cards will load eventually and we're gonna be up against Felix with a zero medals as always probably the best play is just to cycle super ape not 
explore and super ape you want to just cycle the naked super ape and see what's the response because if you cycle six mana at the beginning of the game and you get counter you are in a probably bad spot because like explore not only is used to this two card combo but also is a pretty versatile defensive card so if you are get if you're gonna get absolutely crushed uh, I mean, if your first move out will get absolutely crushed, you uh, might as well like lose in the first push because you committed uh, much mana and uh, you committed a very important uh, card uh, used usually for kiting. Xor is very handy, but in this kind of meta, which uh, I mean benefits the bridge spam playing style and uh, more like aggressive uh, plays instead of defensive ones. Uh, it's pretty hard to justify the explorer in any other deck than like 2.6. Even a uh, swordman is uh, played with super 8 more often than a uh, explorer. It's just this one deck where it really works. And yeah, Felix will give up actually. I didn't realize it earlier, but that's gonna be a game number three. And we're gonna jump straight into game number four. And in the game number four, we are against user 287. 4 to 8 uh, with zero medals. I believe he just created a new account, and it is also the result of uh, uh, mistyping your username. So, well, if you forget to type in your username, you will get a username that will match your in game ID. So, well, it sucks for him for sure. I'm gonna play Super Ape. I mean, it can go either really good or really bad and it looks like it's actually not that bad for us. We're gonna get this super ape. This was a nice trick to play skeletons and uh, lure the viking out of the uh, super ape. I completely missed that far uh, ice tiny and I hopefully won't get any hit from viking, yeah. If I were to get this hit, I this position would have been very bad because by default I'm down a bit of mana. He should also know it. Uh, that's why he probably played a pump. And yeah, um, we're gonna be just playing some Boom Arena Cycle, some Super Ape. I'm gonna play a Rolling Steel right here to counter Runners and Skeleton Horde. And right now we, we are just tower up. We are kind of equal on mana because this trade was really good for us and yeah, we're gonna just wait for him to come into us and well, unless he pumps uh, up, he will come to us unless he quits. That's also a possibility. Uh, whatever the reason, we are very up in this game and I don't see uh, myself losing this position, especially against player that... Uh, isn't documented as the most brilliant one. Uh, he may be obviously a PvP legend, but uh, I don't know that yet. I mean, he has zero medals, so it's very unlikely, but it, 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 it can be. I'm not denying this fact. Also, he's gonna be playing 8 mana to get 8 mana. Wait, Madness actually boosts something. It, I think it would have gotten 9 mana, but. Uh, I've done the maths uh, in the past and uh, I've gotten the result that uh, that it's actually worth it to pump, uh, to madness two or more pumps. If you madness only one pump, it's not gonna give you the accepted return, like, uh, you, you have to, actually, you are uh, just breaking even if you are uh, madnessing two pumps, you have to be ahead if you are uh, madnessing uh, three pumps. I believe double madness is also a very risky move, but some people do it for the sake of just overwhelming with one troop. Sometimes it works, but not this time. Let's jump to the game number five. And we are back in the game number five against, I believe, the same Russian guy, so... Uh, if I recall correctly, he was playing a spell cycle, so uh, this time he's gonna be switching into Steel Bait. I'm gonna miss one phone, which which sucks, but it's not the end of the world at the same time. He's gonna be playing Explorer, so very interesting to see the variety of his 
cards. He's gonna be playing a missile, which I think is a mistake already because I can just play some support cards to this super ape and it's gonna be very tough for him to defend that. That's, that's right, he's gonna be forced to play a fun barrel on defense and that's the play that you almost never want to do. I mean, you, you, you actually never want to play a fun barrel on defense and with that being said, I'm gonna still be up, I'm gonna still have the offensive momentum, I'm gonna be playing super ape and I'm gonna actually kill all of his uh, cards on defense, which is, well... Which marks me at a very comfortable position right here to play. I'm gonna delete that swordman out of existence. I'm gonna play only skeletons to deal with that barrel. And with that, I think I actually want to go all out and probably kill him in this push because he might have a 6 mana for missile, but now he won't. <laughs> it's just not mathematically possible. I'm gonna play Rolling Steel to kill those shield skellies like this. And the game is officially over once again. Because, well, as a uh, spell cycle player, you pretty much are playing for one tower. And if you are down a tower, you either have to be close uh, to finishing another one or you have to uh, have like a secondary wound condition and well i don't see myself missing any of his barrels in the future i've missed uh, the first one but it was like the exception and right now i'm gonna just keep the rolling steel uh, for his uh, barrels for all times i'm gonna also try to win this gunner fight it didn't have gone as I planned. He's gonna get some missile value, I think. I think you can fit a missile here, but my opponent decided not to risk that, which is pretty strange because at this point, I think uh, I think you have to risk uh, some things because if you don't risk it, I'm gonna just play a very symmetrical game and. Yeah, in, in symmetrical game, you end beating 2.6. It's actually one of the best uh, decks to play symmetrical game because, uh, well, it just trades very well. And if you come down against this deck with trades, like, it, it's, it's not even close. Alright, so that's gonna be it for today's video. We've got our fifth and final win of the, of, of the vid. And that's how you do it. 5000 medals using 2.6 Super Ape. I've explained some matchups, how to play them. Usually what you want to do is to cycle as many Super Apes uh, as it's possible throughout the game, but there are some uh, exceptions, like sometimes you cannot cycle Super Ape, uh, because like if you do, your opponent will just instantly kill you, and uh, this is a control slash cycle deck, so you cannot give up uh, any tower, you have to just uh, win 1-0 games. It's boring for some, it's entertaining for uh, the others. Uh, I believe like the, the best rule of thumb uh, for uh, 2.6 is just uh, trying to be on the map uh, at all times. And if you aren't on the map, just try to force your uh, way uh, in some way. I mean, sometimes it's possible. Uh, the more you play this deck, the more you will realize there are some creative plays with that. But yeah. That, that's the discussion for the another day. I like this deck very much, even though it's annoying to play with and against, so... <laughs> yeah, that's gonna be it from me for today's video. Super A 2.6 uh, to 5000 medals. If you enjoy this type of content, by the way, let me down in the comments down below, because, well... <laughs> This is the uh, best way of uh, giving me some free feedback and uh, I'm encouraging you to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you enjoyed this video and you aren't subscribed. So, thanks for watching till the end and I'm gonna see you in the next episode of Boomarino.